Hi and welcome back to my channel Machine Learning with me. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. Today we are going to discuss what is a polynomial linear regression. So a polynomial linear regression model is a machine learning model that can capture nonlinear relationships between the variables by fitting a nonlinear regression line which may not be possible with simple linear regression. In a simpler terms, instead of using a straight line to predict, we are trying to use a curvy line or a line which has a higher degree instead of zero or one. So for the better understanding, we'll try to compare polynomial re regression with linear regression. Okay, so this one is simple linear regression, nothing but straight line and this is polynomial linear regression. It's a curve. So if you could see the line fails to capture all the points on the graph. Okay, but here in uh, using this curve, we could able to capture almost all the points on the curve. So simply we could say polynomial regression does perform very well compared to linear regression. Right. So what is the difference between the equation okay here the variables are uh, the same for the line but here we are trying to convert uh, convert each variable into the higher degree okay the first variable is always uh, 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 to the power of one and this next variable is square then then comes cube and so on up to n degrees so we are tr just trying to convert this x into higher degree okay now there's a lot of uh, 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 there's a common question uh, here. If this is a curve, then why are you even calling it as a linear regression? Why are you calling it linear? It's not a straight line, right? So the reason behind calling it as linear is you may convert this variables into higher degree, but the coefficient or the weights of this variable remains Li uh, has the uh, linear relationship with the y it does have linear relationship with the y so that is the reason we are calling it as li polynomial linear regression now we'll try to uh, see how linear regression performs uh, for a particular data set uh, and how the polynomial regression performs for the similar data set using python uh, polynomial linear regression and linear regression using python okay so here i'll try to run all uh, the cells at a time and we'll try to get into each cell and what we are doing and what's actually happening over there okay in the first cell we'll try to import all the required python packages in the next cell i am going to uh, you know read my data uh, which is data.csv and in my data let's see what i have uh, I, we do have temperature and pressure right so our target variable here is pressure we want to predict pressure uh, when there is a temperature given right so i'm going to uh, take all my temperature values into x and pressure values into y and let's see i have uh, we have plotted a scatter plot and see the uh, how how the data points are uh, visualized you can see the data points are in a form of curve you can clearly say from this one uh, that uh, polynomial is the best to predict or to capture the points but let's even try using linear regression you know just for the better understanding let's see what's in x and y uh, this is the temperature and this is the pressure and now i have uh, let's start using a linear regression right uh, i have taken a model a linear regression i did fit my x and y values over there then i'll try to predict by passing the temperature uh, we'll get some uh, uh, pressure uh, pressure predicted pressure points and let's try to uh, plot a scatter plot if you could see here this is our uh, linear line uh, it didn't capture uh, the points well but that's okay we'll we'll try to uh, make it better by using polynomial linear regression now as i explained 
the, the main difference is we are trying to convert the x values into the higher degree so in term uh, so to, to to do that we will uh, try to call polynomial features okay now using polynomial features uh, we can capture or we can convert our input variable into any degree we wanted using the degree parameter okay for now let's say i have used parameter 4 and uh, i did fit transform our input variables and i have captured our features into this x underscore poly now uh, if you could see here uh, i did try to predict uh, the temperature uh, a pressure uh, using the x poly features and uh, let's see the graph if you could see it did try to capture very well it did capture all the points uh, when the degree of freedom is 4 now this is something uh, we all do have a problem this is called as overfitting so overfitting is not really good to our machine learning model when you give a new input variables to our model it's not going to perform well so you know when when the model doesn't predict well even on the training data then this scenario is called as underfitting so there are these two cases where you see overfitting and underfitting and you can optimize your model's performance using some kind of hyper parameters right so here instead of giving degree 4 let me see giving it 3 okay i'll try to reduce the degree and let's see how how, how the model performs well this is very good right this doesn't overfit uh, it doesn't have a uh, you know it's not passing through all the points it's but it's close enough now i can say this is way more precise model uh, to implement so we today we have covered what is polynomial regression and how is it even different with the simple linear regression and uh, we have seen overfitting and underfitting cases are here right so in the next video i am going to explain what is logistic regression uh, and also i'll try to uh, explain uh, it using python we'll do some project uh, for the more content please do like share and subscribe